the time has come. So I mentioned in my bookshelf tour video that we were going to be upgrading our bookshelf hallway bookshelf setup in the near future and that near future turns out to be now. I ordered our bookshelves, our new one bookshelf, one multi-purpose shelfy sort of thing. I'm really excited to show it to you guys and I don't think I'm going to spoil exactly what it is that we have coming. Uh, we've got a couple of storage things coming to go in our hallway uh, and I ordered them yesterday from Ikea and they will be arriving tomorrow. So that is very exciting. I don't know when this video is going to come out. It is currently Easter, so I took some extra time off over the Easter long weekend. That's currently Wednesday, but I'm already on holiday, so I have seven full days off. And today is my first day off. So this is also the same time that I am filming my Dark Academia skirt making audiobook listening video. I don't know if that's going to be out before or after this, so if it's coming out after this, surprise, that's coming sometime soon. <laughs> My plan for today, it's already like quarter past three in the afternoon, so I don't plan on doing a lot at this point. But what I want to do is clear out this bookshelf situation right here, because I figure if I clear this one out, it doesn't have a whole lot on it. If I clear this one out, get it out of the way, then we'll be able to build the new bookshelf and put it into this space and then move all of the books on this shelf which has the majority of the books there's a lot of books on here move the books from here straight onto the new shelves and then we can move this shelf to replace it with the new bit of furniture we have coming so that's going to be my plan for today we're going to get this cleaned out i don't know exactly where these two are going to go once they're cleared out i have possibly a bit of an idea for one of them. The cube one may work for what I'm thinking. We will see how it goes. Uh, I think I know where I'm going to put it for the time being, but long term I'm not 100% sure where these are going to go. So <laughs> these may end up in the garage with the bed waiting to go out whenever the next curbside collection happens. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm up to. I'm going to chuck in a little probably time lapse of me clearing out this shelf here. Please enjoy. building the bookshelf but the space is available and that's going to be all that I'm doing on this for today so I'll come back to you guys either tomorrow or probably Friday at the latest to get started on building the bookshelf. Our furniture has been delivered actually got delivered a while ago but we've been busy playing snow runner so <laughs> oh hello Ridge goodbye Ridge uh, but we're going to put together the bookshelf for now. So, yeah, get to work on that.
right, so as you hopefully saw, should have definitely seen, because I recorded a bunch of video of us doing it, uh, the furniture has been assembled. So back here we have the standard IKEA Billy bookshelf in like, it's a really dark, dark wood. It looked almost black on the website, so when I was first looking, I didn't like the options that I saw on IKEA. I was looking at getting an Officeworks bookshelf instead. So I prefer a like darker wood. When I went to buy the Officeworks one, it was not available. So I checked IKEA again and I saw this one and I went, you know what, we're gonna give it a go. Uh, and it is basically the perfect color. It's exactly what I would have wanted. Uh, so this is perfect. This is lovely. It does have a lot of books in it right now, but it's mostly just stuff I mean, it's all stuff that I just transferred from our little white one that we used to have. I did sort of try to keep things together. Sorry, this is a very difficult angle to film. I can't get a good angle of this. This is my recipe books, which are going to be moving over to here, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, then we have a little space for Reginald's food in the back here because we feed him in the bathroom. So it's easiest to have this nice and close. These are my TBR stacks, which... I think we'll be moving to the bedroom. I think there's going to be a little bit of furniture rearranging happening in the bedroom, which is pretty exciting, but this means it'll take a little bit longer to have all of this ready. There's definitely more that I'm going to be doing with the bookshelf. This is not finished and ready, uh, but this is just, this is just how it is at the moment. Uh, and I'm quite happy with it. We did have a couple of mishaps. You probably can't tell, but this, uh, <laughs> This bit of wood up the top here is backwards. So you can see all the holes in the front of it that are supposed to have the backboard screwed into them. So the backboard's not actually attached at the top, but we figured as long as it's leaning against the wall, it's probably fine. You probably, hopefully, hopefully not saw on the video, I did actually poke a hole through the entire side of the bookshelf when there was a dowel that wasn't quite lined up properly and got too much pressure put on it when it wasn't ready for it and it kind of just popped through so there's a hole down the bottom corner uh of the bookshelf hopefully in a not super obvious location so hopefully that's fine and the other thing that we have move the camera this way perhaps oh apparently i could have done this angle the whole time bookshelf <laughs> from a much nicer angle i don't know why i didn't do this in the first place uh this is I don't know how you pronounce it. The Hauga? 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 I will write the name. Uh, but this is one of the IKEA furniture pieces. We got some nice open shelves up top here, which we will be using for various things. Uh, but the main reason we got this, I'm just gonna angle this down for a second. Ah, uh, yes, beautiful view of the bin. Uh, so we have already filled this with all of our alcohols. Uh, all of our alcohols previously lived on top of our fridge and we were running out of space because we have quite a bit of alcohol. <laughs> so we filled the cupboards with alcohol and this is going to be our sort of cocktail station, if you will. Uh, so it does just have some general, I've got like, you can't see it, but our um, Panadol and Nurofen stack is down here <laughs> and my whiteboard's here currently, box of tissues. Uh, just like general, it's a good place to leave things. It will be a good little hallway dumping ground. Um, but we also want to use it for our cocktail space. So we're going to get, I think we're going to put our cocktail shaker uh, on here. I'm going to get some of our nicer cocktail glasses to put on this shelf here. So our martini glasses. We have some lovely coupe glasses, which are very nice. Uh, they're going to go on this shelf. All of my recipe books are going to go on this shelf. And I think... I don't know what the upper top's gonna have just yet. Um, I might put some general entertaining sort of things. Not that we do a lot of entertaining, but we do have a dinner party coming up in a couple of weeks. So I did buy a couple of things for that. Uh, so I may put that sort of stuff up here. I don't really know yet. It might just be more book space. I don't know. We're gonna see, we're gonna play around with it, see what happens, what works. Uh, a lot of these shelves are adjustable. The bottom cupboard is supposed to have two shelves, but we could only fit one given the height of alcohol bottles. So we have one bonus shelf just hiding out in our cupboard for the time being. The middle shelf isn't adjustable, but the bottom and the top shelves are both adjustable. And the one that is in the bottom is also adjustable. So it's very modular. You know, if you're new around here or if I just haven't mentioned it lately, 
Uh, my partner Simon is pretty into cocktail making, which is why we have so many alcohols and so many cocktail related things uh because he's also going to have a bunch of like sugar syrups and stuff like that that will probably go somewhere in this whole thing these are the cabinets that we have this is what we have built we're very excited about them uh and i will just be showing more of us filling this up over the next little while i presume i do have to do some furniture moving in the bedroom for right now, I'm going to move my recipe books over to my shelf that is for my recipe books, and I think I will bring over our cocktail glasses as well. So if anyone has the uh, Ikea Billy bookshelves or any other bookshelves that have this issue, please let me know how you deal with the depth of the shelves. Because if I were to push these books all the way back to the, where they hit the back of the shelf, it's like way back there. And that looks ridiculous. <laughs> so currently they're just sitting away from the back. Is that what people do? I don't know. It feels wrong. But it definitely feels wrong to have them pushed all the way back. So, I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> Please. Somebody send help. <laughs> it's been another couple of days. I mentioned that I was going to be moving some furniture around in the bedroom as well. I'm sorry. I didn't actually record it. I just kind of did it. It happened pretty quickly. I did it on like a Sunday afternoon when I was just feeling not like having to set up a camera and do it. I just wanted to get it done, you know? I was feeling more like productive than actually doing things, but you can kind of see the corner of what's happening here, but I'm gonna move the camera in just a second. But I have made some changes to my bedroom furniture, which I am very excited about. I love how this looks. I, I don't know what it is about it. I just think this looks so cute. So, way, we, way, we're gonna take a look. Let me move my camera around. Hello and welcome to my actual now book corner. I think it's so cute. I'll show you the full uh, shelf set up in a minute, but this is sort of what is going to become my like standard-ish little reading video corner, I think. So I finally have a bookshelf in my videos, which is very exciting. <laughs> it is half bookshelf, half makeup slash other things for the bedroom shelf this is the book that i am currently reading this cubby get rid of that because that's not part of it that's part of the video i just filmed uh <laughs> this is the books that are on my current tbr plus the little john marsden book that i'm still in the middle of reading that maybe one day i will finish <laughs> uh so this is my uh april tbr list is sitting in this specific cubby right here which is fantastic i can very easily just grab whatever book i am next wanting to read and very easily visually see what books i still have to read unless of course it's a book that i don't know in which case i i there's no way for me to visually see that but i can see all of the ones that i have physically which is fantastic i think this is a very cute got a nice space for this and then i've got some things that i use standardly up here my moisturizer and we have a little tbr bucket up the top here so love having that sort of out not really on display but kind of on display i'll also be putting in books that i've finished reading for the month will also be going into this slot i just haven't finished any books this month because it is currently the 2nd of april technically i did finish ninth house this month but I've got a little stack of books that we're going to be putting back in the main bookshelf shortly because I just finished reading a bunch of them. But first, let's take a more, more better look at this entire bookshelf. All right, so here is the entirety of the bookshelf. It is blocked by the chair a little bit. We're just angling ourselves better so that we can see it, but it is a very awkward 
sort of angle so we're not going to be here for long but i just wanted to show you we have all of the books so these as i mentioned are going to be the books that are currently on whatever month i'm in tbr plus anything that i have finished reading for the current month and these are just all of my tbr books this one is mostly the books that i have either recently purchased and haven't read or am most keen to do a reread of and then the books down the bottom are books that I still want to do a reread of but I'm less excited to be doing a reread of this is going to make my TBR videos much easier because everything is going to be all in the one place I won't have to do a I'll be back and get up and go out to my full library and rummage around for some books so that is very nice and then down this side as I mentioned I have all of my makeup stuff most of it's on the top shelf uh, which you can't really see from this angle most of it's on the top shelf and then I have sort of my more jewelry lesser used makeup things this one's more like hair stuff and various things and then my bottom shelf is for a couple of little uh makeup containers slash the first aid kit usually lives down there but it's currently out because we needed it and the sheets that are not currently on the bed also belong in that little cubby and the tv is right behind me so you know not the best location for me to be in right now <laughs> but it works as a full setup i think i think this is really cute i'm really happy with this little area that i have built for myself and i think it's going to look very nice for videos and such so yeah this is my extra little bookshelf this is of course the shelf that was in our hallway so i've just repurposed it i haven't purchased any new furniture for this particular setup i just reused something that we already have so yeah I'm pretty, not pretty happy, I'm very happy with this. I think it looks very cute and I didn't have to buy anything new for it. So that's fantastic. <laughs> All right, let's take these books back to the main bookshelf and just do a little bit of a tidy up on the main bookshelf, a little bit of a reorganization. So let's go. I don't think anything has actually changed here in the last couple of days, except that I added some more do a quick look at these i think these are just absolutely adorable we bought them specifically for the dinner party that i'm throwing in the next couple of weeks which is a D, &D themed dinner party it's only D, D themed because it is using the D, &D cookbook uh, i'm doing recipes all from that cookbook that's pretty fun i'm looking forward to that and simon decided he wanted some little potion vials to put the drinks that we are having in because he is managing the cocktails uh and the other thing was the little glass jars that we have which hold a lot of simon's sugar syrup concoctions and other similar things so we are going to be looking at the bookshelf today just moving a few things around i've got this stack of books that are mostly what i read in march plus a bonus one that i just randomly brought out to reference when i was doing my march tbl video uh, but these all have to be stored somewhere put away and i just kind of want to do a bit of a rearrange of this and decide on where some things are gonna go where some things are gonna stay this is just gonna be a time lapse so enjoy please I just went into an absolute panic because it turns out that my microphone had run out of batteries and I have filmed a lot today and I don't know when it ran out of batteries and I was absolutely terrified but literally all we missed was the bookshelf tour which is what I was just filming so we're just gonna redo the bookshelf tour so this is my second time but your first time so if I seem like I'm going through it quickly I'm sorry uh but we i just rearranged all of this as you would have seen and i am pretty happy with how it's looking 
one of my shelves is a little bit sad. The rest of them are pretty good. So let's take a look at what we've got. We start up here with my literary fiction. Oh, my finger gone. Here we go. Start up here with our literary fiction, moving into our historical fiction, moving into our historical romance, and then moving into our contemporary romance. I have the Happy Place book near the Happy Place frame, which has the photo from of Simon and I from our cruise. I just liked the uh, synchronicity of having those two quite close to each other. And, you know, our lovely photo next to the romance books makes sense. Anyway... <laughs> Next up, we have our thrillers and our mysteries over on this side. Next shelf down is mostly my young adult fantasy. So we have Lumetair Chronicles, Shadow and Bone series, Actar, the Imperion series, uh, the unfortunate side effects of heartbreak and magic thrown in here, Once Upon a Broken Heart, and Divine Rivals, which is Letters of Enchantment, the Letters of Enchantment duology. I'm going to move the camera down so we can take a look at the next couple of shelves. Okay, so next up we have more of my sort of middle grade reads. So we've got our Emily Rudder collection, Rowan of Rin, Deltora Quest, Single Books, Deltora Quest, Omnibus, Artemis Fowl, Box Set. And then I just threw in my like classics in here. They don't really fit with the category, but this is the most displayed shelf, I feel like. And this is sort of my nicest traditional style books. Uh, so is there... And then right down the end, we have Reginald's food, <laughs> just a bit ease of access. Uh, next shelf down is more of my like adult fantasy. There's not a lot on here. It's a little bit sad. Then we have some David Eddings, mostly David Eddings, Patrick Rothfuss, but the rest of my Patrick Rothfuss books are in my TBR shelf. And then right at the end, we have the first book in the Wheel of Time series, which I've never read. So I'll have to get to that at some point. And then we're going to shuffle down to look at the bottom two shelves. This is a really terrible angle for me, but here we are. Uh, we have my Matthew Riley shelf. I have an entire shelf worth of Matthew Riley books, as it turns out. <laughs> I've kept mostly the series together. And then right down the bottom here, we have my few little nonfiction collections. So yeah. And then a blanket for Reginald. <laughs> He's going to sit on this bookcase regardless, so we might as well give him a blanket and try to make him sit in that specific spot rather than jumping up and disturbing anything else. Okay, so I think that is going to conclude our new furniture video. Uh, I definitely have some more decoration-y sort of things that I want to do for at least the bookshelf, if not also the other shelves. But for now, I am pretty happy with how this is looking and I don't think I am going to be rushing out to do anything more at this point. Simon also said he may want to move some of his books out here so he may have to do another rearrange. I'm sure as I read more books I will have to do more rearranging as I go. Uh, but yeah, this is what we have for now. I'm pretty happy with how everything is looking. Both of these I think are looking great and are very useful for the purpose that we have gotten them for. I think they're going to be very effective and I love what I've done in the bedroom with my chair and my little bookshelf setup that I have going on in there. I think it's all looking great. So I'm very happy with everything. And yeah, that's going to be it, I think, for today. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will be back probably with more booktube content next week. Let's be honest. That's it from me. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.